Hello and thanks for watching this short video. We're going to look at managing users and setting them up. I happen to be in QuickBooks Online Plus, which supports up to five users, plus two free accountant users, and of course report readers and time tracking users are also free and don't count against the user list. QuickBooks Online Essentials supports up to three users, plus two free accountant users, and QuickBooks Online Simple Start supports up to one user, plus two free accountant users. You go to the gear icon or tools icon and click Manage Users under the Your Company menu be brought to the manage users window and here you see I'm a master admin and that's all I got right now uh, again I can invite up to two accounting uh, people and what you want to do next is go ahead and just click new and it opens up kind of the mini interview and let's go over this a bit a regular or custom user and I'll show you that you can be a company administrator which is essentially rights to everywhere in QuickBooks Online Plus you're just not a master admin uh, and then here's, if you're in QuickBooks Online Plus, you're a reports user or a time tracking only user, and you only have access to those respective areas, and they don't count against your users. And you can even click which users count, it'll open up a help article and explain a little further. But if you do want to break down some user access, other than just being an admin, report reader, or a time tracking user, click regular custom user, click next, and then you have an option of all. Users with all access will have all the limited access rights for customers and sales and vendors and purchases. And then they can also add, edit, and delete employees, change preferences, view the activity log, etc. So read that. Now maybe you just want a limited user and they're limited just to customers and sales. It lists what it can do, basically customers and sales types events. And then what they can't do, they can't print checks, including refund checks. They can't add, edit, or delete accounts, view bank registers, etc. Or let's look at just a vendor and purchase user everything to do with vendors and purchases for the most part but you can't add edit or delete accounts and neither one have access to any kind of payroll okay so you, you choose what you want between a limited and, and then an all user you go ahead and click next and then of course for user management it's up to you no access to the manage users do you want them to view the users you have in the file or add edit or delete and modify users so even a regular user would have the ability to add it, delete, modify users should you choose that bullet point. It's important to point out. Company information, view only or edit, and then subscription and billing. No, view subscription or manage subscriptions and billing. And I usually just keep it as the default, but you do have a few options here. And you click next again. And then you want to put in the actual email address and first and last name to send them an invite. So once you fill out this information, click next. And then when you click finish, Clayton's getting an email invite. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now, even though the invite is gone to the other user I'm inviting to my QuickBooks Online file, it still says pending. I can resend, and there you go. You hear the email just came in. That person has to actually accept it, uh, and then they can log in. Once they actually accept the invite, then they're an active billable user. And, and when you're at QuickBooks Online Plus, let's say you do need more than five users. You need that sixth, seventh, or let's say up to ten. Uh, you need five active users. When you click new to create the sixth, you'll see the option to upgrade to the six to ten billable SKU, which is $54.95 a month. Okay, let's go ahead and pretend I'm that other user and accept the invite. So here's my email. Congratulations. This person's invited me to join QuickBooks Online. Here's the name of the file. I just go ahead and click here. Now when you click here in the email, you know, some users are going to have a lot of user IDs within to it. And some aren't. Uh, if you don't see yours there or you don't have any, click create one and then you'll sign in. But in my case, there is mine. And then I can go ahead and put in my password and click accept invite. Next, once you've accepted it, you'll be prompted to sign in. And it brings you back to the sign in window and go ahead and put in your user ID and password there. Then click sign in. And it'll bring me into the QuickBooks Online file you know, as that user. Now, it's important to point out that this user might be a user on other QuickBooks Online files. So you'll see a list of other QuickBooks Online companies that I am a user on. However, for the most part, when you invite someone, they're only going to be accessing for the first time QuickBooks, a QuickBooks Online period file. So just go ahead and click on the actual file, and it'll really just bring them right into that file. And then they come into the file they're in, and let's go back to Manage Users. Manage Users is grayed out because of that access level. So I'm going to go back in as the uh, that master admin or company admin there to show you what it looks like on the user list. 
And you can see that Clayton has accepted the access now as an active user and a billable user. And you just keep go ahead and click on new. Now other things that you can do, you can edit the user, which will open up the user window. You can delete them from here or click on the delete button from the, the previous window there. You can also change their access level by clicking on the change icon. It brings you back into the mini interview and what kind of user type do they want them to be. Now we'll click next and for Clayton, I really want them to have the ability to view the user list. Not actually add, delete, or modify, but remember it was grayed out for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click next and then click finish. And so when they log in again, they'll have the ability to go to manage users themselves or that other area that I just gave them access to. I'm going to go ahead and click save. It brings you back to the user list. Now another thing to point out with managing users is that you can transfer the master administratorship to another user. And that comes in handy. You'll look for one of my other videos when you're actually creating a QuickBooks Online file from QuickBooks Online Accountant, and you're actually both the accountant user and the master admin. After inviting your client as a company admin, you can transfer the master administratorship. And then inviting the accountant is much the same way. I'll go ahead and click on that now. And it's just another mini interview. You put in the email address, first, last name, next, click finish. They get an invite. They log in through QuickBooks Online Accountant. And finally, you can view the user's activity just by clicking on the activity tab and it'll open up that activity log filtered for that user and you can see when they signed in and signed out and also the transactions they affected or things they did in this case i invited clayton and also edited them as a user so i hope this has been helpful it's how you manage and support users within the new quickbooks online